All right, welcome back to Dave the Diver. I am, there we go, trying to get my controller initialized. Uh, there was a content update while um, I was away. Uh, so we'll get to see that in action. Uh, they've added new nighttime only uh, fish and stuff like that, I think. Uh, we are starting off, we're gonna do our sushi. Um, I can show you, um, first thing is the Marinka. So they have made Nocturnal. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and I guess there's a new boss that appears after you beat everything else. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, so there we go. Nocturnal. Ooh, we have seahorses. All kinds of seahorses. Looks like there's some common seahorses we haven't found yet. Okay. Any information on how well they perform? No. Okay. And we got the new uh, Cleone Queen. Okay. Uh, anyway, let's let's do let's go back and do sushi. So uh, let's see. Um, what news have I? Uh, bought a new car, which cost quite a bit. It almost cost me an extra four thousand dollars because I was getting my new car. Oh, looks like we're gonna have a cutscene here. A Cleone, like you asked. It's so beautiful. Thank you, Dave. I found this. Huh? Is that a photo of me? There was a huge Cleone. Cleone or Cleone? I don't know. I found this in its home. There's a button on the back. I'll try pressing it. Static. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Maki, it's your father. <gasps> if you're watching this, then I've probably failed my expedition. I got eaten by a Cleone. I couldn't really take care of you with my busy schedule. My greed for more work has turned me into an irresponsible father. You haven't been able to make many friends because we kept moving around because of my work. Because of what? Even so, I want you to forgive me for being a terrible father and live a confident life. And your dream of becoming a chef, I hope it comes true. I mean, with this guy's verbal skills, no wonder Maki is messed up. I'll keep watching you from afar, so don't ever lose your smile. Who talks like that? Anyway. Translation issues. One of the developers for this game is a westerner, though. I mean, like... Anyway. I've had to translate Japanese, and I mean, like, it is kind of a... It, it, it's so hard to get translations right. <laughs> like, even you do the best job you can at translation, you still end up with stuff I'm like... I don't know. It gets in, it messes with your head because anyway, I won't go into it. Um, it seems to have cut off. Oh, don't be too upset. It seems your father really loved you, Maki. There's that word again. Seems this should be like Pee Wee's Playhouse, where everybody screams when the word "seems" appears, or a drinking game. Please let me work here. What? So suddenly? Yes, my father wouldn't like to see me so lethargic and sad. I want to show him that I'm doing fine and working hard. And as you've showed concern for me and helped me, I'd like to help you as well. Um, Bancho, what do you think? Hmm, what a spirited child. I like her. You can start working here today, but you won't be getting any special treatment. Yes, okay, I'll work hard to learn and become an amazing chef. Oh, do we have a new chef? Defeat the Cleone Queen. Completed. Oh, look who it is. Phew, this place is rather hot. Is the food ready yet? Be honest now, I won't chide you for it if it isn't. Here you are. This food will make your inspiration skyrocket. Haha, <laughs> looks like an explosive dish, alright. It looks nice, but will the taste justify its fanciness? Try it first. Uh, I'm running, I'm a running. Roar, it's coming to me, yes. Such powerful inspiration is filling my soul. I haven't felt this way in a while. That's not what's filling your pants, buddy. 
This rice, it's not easy to find such rice in these parts. How did you? I had some help from a friend. I'm glad to see you like it. If you'll continue making your masterful movies that pluck at the heartstrings, you're welcome to eat here whenever you like. Hmm, you're quite the man. I like your style. Perhaps my next movie should be about a sushi bar. It should feature a man with a missile launcher in one hand. What kind of story is that? Aha, in any case, I think I'm all set. Thanks to you. This is a Robot Samurai poster with my autograph. You can have it as a gift. My gosh, Robot Samurai. Ha ha ha. You can look forward to the next movie. It's sure to be an exhilarating one. All right. Michael Bang's inspiration. Okay. Um, let's see if we can put up the... Uh, let's see if we can put up the... Uh, robot Samurai, where are you? There we go. I didn't know I had so much stuff. Robot Samurai. Okay. Can I put any more up? No, we're not doing that one. All right, interior. A little clicky, this interface. Sure, we'll put a plant. We don't own any chairs. We still just have the junky speakers. Why would I buy these if I can have like... I'm not putting up no fan. I like the portrait. Okay. We have to buy those, huh? Hmm. White bar chair, red bar chair, steel bar chair. This looks cheap. Lounge bar chair. You know what? Let's just green stool. Let's go for the lounge bar chair. I don't care how much it costs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, so my car, I almost end up having to pay um, an extra four thousand dollars because they were like adding. It was like, uh, what's it called? Service or? some kind of thing i can't i have to have it in front of me basically it's like a warranty but they don't call it a warranty and so i'm like going through the bill first thing that like put me off a little bit was like they got my homeownership wrong so like i was like oh i pay you know a certain amount for my mortgage and um then on it instead of saying like my address was a uh, you know owned they put rent and so i like, called because i'm buying my car remotely because, I mean, I, I can't, I'm not going to drive two hours to test drive a car. It's not going to tell me anything that, you know, it's just not going to tell me anything useful. Um, you know, my opinion was just like, screw it. You know, I just need a car and I hope it's not a crappy car. That's the best I can say. Is it D-Day on one of these? No. Um, anyway... Like, so they got that wrong, so I called, and I was like, hey, uh, I don't know if this is important or not, but I own my home. I don't rent. He's like, yeah, that's probably pretty important. Let me fix that for you. And then he, the guy who sold me the car gets back to me and says, no, our finance guy says it's fine. Just go ahead. And I'm like, mm, all right. Um, you know, hope I'm not committing a felony here or anything. <laughs> but um, so anyway, that got me reading the contract a little bit more. I get to, like, the next page. <clears throat> Let's not kid ourselves. We're going to sell whatever this is. Um, should we enhance? They've added a new enhancement video. Now, how much does it cost? I need three to make one. If I do this, I won't be able to make any. 
So we're not gonna enhance it, we're just gonna make two. Tropical fish sushi set. Okay. Um, so let's see. So I'm, I'm inspecting it a little bit more closely this time. And um, let's do a enhancement here and get the cutscene. There's a new cutscene added. I think this might be it. That was the new cutscene. Uh, anyway, so I'm reading it a little bit closer, and I'm like, what's this $4,000 here for, like, uh, uh, some kind of service thing? And, you know, so I, like, called him back, and, like, he's like, oh, you know, let me, that's, I need to stay in my lane, let me let the other guy from finance talk to you about it. And he's like, yeah, so this covers, like, you know, if the engine goes wrong or anything like that. And I'm like, okay, like, as I already told his coworker <laughs> when I bought the car, is my employer is actually going to cover that for me, so nice bonus there um, from who I work for um, so I was like I do not need that and he's like who do you work for and well I, I told him I'm not gonna say it on YouTube um, uh, and uh, so I was like yeah I, I don't think I need or want this and he's like well we got a whole bunch of other stuff to cover that you know and I was like you know the problem I had is like I, if they talked to me honestly about what they were adding to it up front, like if the finance guy had called me and said like, so, um, you know, do you want this service stuff added, you know, in for this additional cost? You know, I would have been a lot more receptive, um, but they didn't. They just added $4,000 onto my bill without telling me. And so at that point, I'm just like, I don't think I want anything and I'm not willing to listen, you know, for better or for worse, which is too bad because, you know, maybe I should have listened. Um, this is level seven and it is deliciousness through the roof. Let's enhance. Yes, enhance. Oh, but we can't, yeah, we can, we can still make it. Oh, we can make 14 of them. Really? Well, I say let's do it. I mean, that's more than enough. That's gonna be more than enough. Okay, I'll finish this story really quick, I promise. Um, so, you know, like, yeah, I went and I looked on, on like Google and I was like, you know, the other stuff that can go wrong with your car, like the three things that go wrong with your car that I'm worried about that I have a, that my employer's protecting me on is the engine, drive chain, and uh, transmission. Um, and then the other stuff that can go wrong, like he was like, well, you know, like, uh, you know, the radio system or the electronics. I'm like, well, the car's working now, isn't it? And he's like, yes. <laughs> I was like, well, then I don't think I want these things covered and I'm not going to pay extra for it. Um, I'll just, you know, I'll have it repaired. A service contract, that's what it was called. It was $4,000 service contract, um, which is just like a warranty, basically. Uh, and I was like, I'll just have somebody service it, you know, like if something breaks, like if the rear camera goes out, you know, I mean, I've been driving for years without using a rear camera. I'll, you know, if it's something I decide I need, I'll get it fixed. And if it isn't, I won't. And, you know, like I already have a really old car is my second car. And, you know, like I can't listen to music or anything really in it. I, it has a CD player, you know, like I don't have CDs anymore. So you like when me and my wife go on a drive, it's like, oh, oh my God, like we have to actually talk to each other because we can't like listen to music on our iPhone or podcasts or anything. So I was like, you know, we'll be fine. Um, but, you know, I was looking, it was like, well, you know, like if the air conditioner leaks and has to be replaced, like, I mean, that's $600. I'm like, well, that's $600 compared to like $4,000. i am like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I don't want it. So I, I don't regret not getting it, even though maybe if they talked to me and been like, oh yeah, you know, it's like 20 bucks or 200 bucks and it'll cover like, you know, oil pans and, you know, uh, carburetor leak it leaks or whatnot I would have been like okay sure um, but it wasn't and I need to go to staff um, let's take a look um, but cooking is a hundred well she's not as good a cook as these guys oh here's my wife goodbye, goodbye. Um, 
Maki is terrible at everything else. <sighs> procure, procure. I could send Rawl out to procure. What do I need? Sure, mayonnaise. How do I... Sure, go for it, Maki. Okay, and then we go to dispatch. Go ahead and go for some mayonnaise, Rawl. Okay. And then, I don't know, dispatch. Let's get turmeric from pie. Okay, off they go. This is done. Yeah, okay. Um, anyway, that's my story. Uh, save $4,000 that way. Hopefully. Let's see. Um, we are ready, I think, to open... Tell me something new with ingredients. That's just salmon snail fish. Okay. Bunch of shrimp. So anyway, hopefully we have a car on the way. It was a big fiasco. Doesn't make me trust used car dealers anymore um, than I did already. And yeah, service contract. Tell me your thoughts. We're opening. This is taking forever. Sorry guys. Um. My dad just left, so let's get over here. So that's why I'm back to recording. Wow, tons of... That was, it was good to have dad around. Please don't tell me I wasted all my shark meat. That's another story I could give. Oh shoot, we're out. I don't think we got all of our stuff served. Let's see if it gives us a breakdown. I think I may have wasted a whole bunch of shark meat. It's so hard to judge. Um, yeah, it just doesn't tell me enough info here. I did get a perfect score, that's good. Um. Phew, I should call it a day. It's a long road becoming a great master. This guy, huh? Ah, uh, strangely I expected to see more Kleenex. I guess there's some socks. <clears throat> What if the whole game is just a dream in this character's head? Okay. A live stage begins in Duff's dream. When the high icon reaches the cursor, press L trigger R trigger oh boy use LR to move your hand up and down and hit oh my god and hit the green note 
uh, L and R. I don't know what that one is. When an orange note appears, shake left and right for loud applause. Now it's time for some cheering. Oh, God. Nobody asked for this. Like we, we spent money making this song, hiring somebody to sing it, we're gonna like put it into the game as much as possible and make like a whole mini game around it just so you are not a good Put this song, we're gonna make this song a part of our game no matter what. I do not think I've cleared. I do not think I did good. Okay. Yes, I'm done. God. Did he have a heart attack? A new mobile game called Leia's Run is now available. You can play the game from your phone's game factory. Oh boy. <sighs> Abandoned cave. By the way, Tenjin asked me to bring him the Glacier Passage Key. I must return to the Elder's Place in the Sea People Village. Okay, I'm not sure where that is. Farming report is available. Okay, let's take care of some crap here and then we're gonna call it an episode. I don't know how long I've been recording. Uh, upgrade? No. Let's do Cooksta. Who made these jellyfish-shaped fireworks? They're so cute. Love it. Uh, just thought of the most awesome idea. Prepare yourselves for my next big one. The stone coming soon. Boncho Sushi. I thought it was a giant lobster dish. It's just one leg. Oops, I already liked it. What? Still not there, huh? Oh, I'm so close. I just need more followers. Okay. What's going on here, guys? They said they've added like a helper to the farm. Okay. Still need a foot bone. Still need to kill more jellyfish. This one's done. Any more that we have done? Nope. Okay, we need orange starfish, like there's no tomorrow. Okay, let's go to the farm. Let's see if we can get that done. Ah, you regularly need to remove weeds. Uh, how do I do this again? Okay, and then here, do I do anything? Are there bugs I need to deal with over here? No, doesn't look like it. Are we, are we good, buddy? 
Use white rice from the farm to make better quality sushi. Sushi made with Anam rice isn't really original sushi. Haha. <laughs> okay, so you don't got nothing for me over here. Hmm. So I did my busy work over here. Let's go to sushi. Do we have what we need to do the healing solve? Hmm, coral porridge. Something I've made before. Yes, there's another 6C person. Here's the ingredient. Hmm, all right, hand it over to me. Oh my god. Hmm, corals. I don't imagine them tasting good. Thank you, Boncho. Awesome. I can take this to the sea person at the workshop. Uh, one final thing before I close this episode. Thank you to my viewer who offered, after hearing about the drama with my car getting totaled, offered to help me out with the donation. I really appreciate that. Um, but we're okay. If anybody else is wondering, we're, we're fine. So I really appreciate the thought, though. That means a lot to me. Um, But yeah, there's there's people when like I may complain about things that are happening to me because they're happening to me, but uh, there are people with far worse problems going on in the world today. So if you feel like helping somebody out, please help uh, any charity you choose. But uh, I I just appreciate the emotional support. That means a lot more than any monetary amount the money part we can take care of um all right guys i'm gonna call it an episode i know we didn't do anything except me ramble and um you know doing the sushi thing thanks for watching as always uh when we come back we're gonna go try to take care of some sea people village stuff and uh yeah i will see you then until then bye bye <laughs>